Welcome to the garden. This is a little volunteer dill. I didn't even have to plant this, it just showed up. But a lot of these other plants I just recently planted for an autumn garden. So today I'm going to show you which cool weather crops that I chose to plant out this year and how we let them flower earlier in the year and save the seeds to plant out in autumn. I want to start with spinach. This is one of my favorites. It's very cool hardy, really low growing, but the thing is you need a lot of plants. So my packets only came with a dozen seeds or so. I planted them out and let them all basically go to seed just so I could get a really hardy stock of seed. But each time I need to harvest, I usually use about this much spinach. It really cooks down, so you really need to plant a lot. Another one besides spinach is radishes. These are actually really, really cold hardy. And if we look down here, we can start to see the first bulb. That's actually looking really nice. I've got to thin these out though because they get really scraggly like that when they're thin. So I'm going to come in here and just pull some of these thinner ones. But you can eat the smaller ones as, like microgreens. The leaf texture is a little bit fuzzy though, so that can be a little strange. So I usually like to save them for the bulb, or eat them for the pods. When these went to flower in summer, I actually taste tested the pods and they're really good. They taste just like radishes, but they eat like a green bean or a pea, like a pea pod. They're really crispy and watery, really nice flavor to them too. had so many that some of them dropped and are just popping up as volunteers. This little volunteer radish here actually has a little bulb. I've got a couple more volunteers in this container. This one looks like it's trying to flower, but it's a little late in the season. I'm just noticing a little cabbage worm here. I think these ones are from the white cabbage butterfly. I'm just going to let this one go because it's late in the season and I'm not going to be harvesting this particular radish. I actually didn't know they ate radishes. I thought they only ate broccoli and cabbage. Speaking of broccoli, broccolis, cabbages, Brussels sprouts, all the brassicas are really cold hardy. I don't really grow the best broccoli, but it really lasts a long time. It's a really great cool weather crop. Lettuce is another great one, a nice leafy green. There's varieties that really are cool hardy, but most lettuces are fairly cool hardy. These are just some romaine type. These I just harvest the outer leaves, just like the spinach, and try and leave the center to regrow a bit so that we can harvest again later. But around here there's some peas. Some of these ones are just dotted in for fun. They're really not doing great, but I have two more containers of peas that are about two feet tall and flowering. Peas are a great cool weather crop. They can handle a light frost. They really like the cool temps and they grow vigorously this time of year. So these peas we actually saved from pods that we grew earlier in the season. I really love that we can do a whole batch of peas in spring, harvest the pods, let them dry out and then plant them again that same year. So this is the second batch of peas and they look phenomenal. They're getting really tall, they're vining out, they produce these beautiful flowers. 
I really love pea flowers. And you could eat these if it's so late in the season that they're probably going to get hit by frost. You can go ahead and eat the flowers and even the leaves. The tendrils are nice and tender, but they do get a little tough further down. The tendril tips, the little leaves, and the flowers are all really tasty. But I think we've got just enough time, about three to five weeks, I'm thinking, before the first frost. So I'm sure we'll get some peas. to soak my peas because they look like this before they soak. They're really shriveled and they need to rehydrate in the soil. So by jump starting them in a bowl of water uh, we're actually skipping that step and they can send out roots straight away. I've spaced them out in this container uh, every couple inches or so and I'm just gonna sprinkle soil on top to about half an inch. Anything in the onion family is going to be nice. I've got chives and these really last a long time. They're one of the first things to come up in spring and the last to die back in autumn. Here we have more traditional onions. You can see they're nice and green. Big tall spires. And they do just fine in the cold. The bulbs are nice and down deep and if you insulate them with leaves they can actually last into winter a bit. Leeks are another great onion family, and garlic too. What you do with garlic is plant the bulbs and then let them overwinter, and that way they form cloves next season. Peppers are surprisingly cool tolerant, as long as the plants are fully grown. You don't want to be growing peppers in cool weather, but if you have fully grown plants, they can actually set fruit and ripen up a bit in cool temps. But I think my favorites are probably lettuce, spinach, and herbs like dill and parsley. I just love that I'm getting volunteer dill. That's just popped up all on its own. And the morning dew clings to it in a really beautiful way. There's more over here too. And this is all just volunteer. Isn't that phenomenal? That's a nice patch of dill. This just popped up in this tomato container along with a little dandelion at the back. There's some more dill over here and one of these little wood sorrels. So I'm going to be pulling this, but these are actually edible too. They kind of have a lemony flavor. Looks like there might even be some purslane in there. Another little wild edible. So a lot of the things people consider weeds are actually great cool weather crops too. And parsley is, I think, one of my favorites. Parsley is a really, really tough plant. I like the flat leaf variety, but this is going to last all the way up until winter. I've even harvested some into December, and in Minnesota that is just phenomenal. So parsley is an excellent cool weather vegetable, even though it's really an herb. It's actually really closely related to celery. And if we look at the leaf structure, let me just pick some parsley here. It's just like a blown up version of parsley. Look at that. So your celery and your parsley are basically identical, right down to the shape of the leaves, the teeth at the edge of the leaves, the little lobes. You can see the celery has the same basic lobe structure, even the way the leaves form on the stem. Those really fibrous stems are more closely associated with celery, but parsley actually has really similar stems. It's just a bit smaller and a little different flavor. But they are so similar. Celery is pretty cool hardy, but not as tough as parsley. I think parsley takes the cake there.
And one more that I'd like to include is anything that grows underground. That's carrots. This is all just carrot greenery. But right down here, we can just pull out a little root. These will stay insulated underground really well. They last a long time. Beets are another good one. Let's pull one of these monsters out. Look at the size of that. And these will last quite a while too. And another one is potatoes. Because they're insulated underground, they actually last a long time. And there are tons of other cool weather crops you can grow in the garden. These are just some of my favorites. It's probably a little late to plant these now, but if you plant for next year, you can get tons of beautiful spinach, lovely radishes, parsley, celery, lots of beautiful lettuce, dill, peas, even things like peppers. So I really hope you give these a grow. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.